well, we have some, um, you know, <clears throat> doing, doing a non-conference schedule uh, in some ways is harder than recruiting. Um, you know, most, most people that um, don't understand um, would never know the difficulty in coordinating dates and getting teams to agree. Um, so part of it, part of it, part of it is next year's schedule moving to the big 12 with the, um, guaranteed, um, challenges that are already in place. <clears throat> the big 12 has a, uh, 18 game schedule. Plus they do a, uh, challenge with the big East, just 19. They do a challenge with the SEC. Uh, so that's 20. Um, we're already in a um, um, MTE next year. <clears throat> um, the MTE we're in escapes my mind. I can't remember which one it is now. But one of the things that hurt us this year was uh, the Oregon game and the date of the Oregon game. The Oregon game fell on, um, uh, what, I don't even know what date, I think it's the 20th of November. And <clears throat> And in order to get a high quality opponent to open up the um, uh, Fertitta Center, that's hard to do. You know, <clears throat> at, at one point I felt like uh, I had Thad Mata agreed to it, Ohio State, he backed out. There's four or five teams backed out. So, <clears throat> but I wanted to get a high quality opponent. And at the time, at the time, I think that was 2018. Um, um, and, I, and it's strictly because of my friendship with Dana Altman. You know, I've known Dana Altman for 35 years. And I said, look, Dana, if you'll come and open up the arena, we'll do a two for one. We'll go to your place twice. So he came. Uh, we, we went, I think, the following year. You guys can look this stuff up better than I can. I think we went the following year. And the year after, um, he called and uh, his – non-conference schedule at home was uh, backloaded. So he said, let's push it back a year. So the next year, I think we were both in the um, Maui Classic. <clears throat> so we weren't going to do a home and home and home that year. So this year it had to be done because <clears throat> I did not want to have to go to Oregon next year um, with the way the Big 12 schedule is with the two challenges. So that would have been, you know, 18 Big 12 games plus two challenges plus on the road at Oregon. So we just had to bite the bullet. And because we uh, – and that was the only date that Dana had, we had to do it. And what that did was excess out of uh, a lot of MTEs we could have got into. Um, so we, but we had to do that game. But we did get an MTE. <clears throat> it was – I'm not going to tell you the name of the schools, but a couple of them had hired, just hired brand-new coaches – um, um, and it was a good MTE. It would have been a uh, SEC school. Uh, who was the other school? Uh, slips my mind right now. But that would have been a really good MTE. But when they saw that we were in it, uh, they backed out. So, you know, you can't make people play you. So when they backed out, you know, we were looking for another MTE. Um, and because of uh, the Oregon date, uh, excess out of a bunch of MTEs on that date. Um, uh, there's another one in Vegas that I did not like for us. So I said, you know, we're not, I mean, obviously we're going to play 31 games. So we just came up with our own MTE. And it's, you know, because of who we are and where we are as a program, it, it has become increasingly difficult. That's the great thing about being in the Big 12 or being in the uh, SEC or ACC or Big 10. You don't have to worry about your non-conference schedule because um, that's going to be taken care of for you. But with us, you know, we, we have to go get agreements. Um, now, the other thing I was not going to do this year was do home and homes where we brought teams into Fertitta and have to return next year. So that was another big factor uh, in the schedule where I say that, um, you know, I talked to um, – well, I'm not going to say the schools, but I've talked to a couple, uh, and they would have come here to start. And you'd say, well, that, that, that's a great schedule. Well, for who? For you or for us? Um, so 
but I didn't want to um, schedule home games this year. Normally, I'd return them next year. So there's a lot of extenuating factors with the schedule, but at the end of the day, it's a great uh, uh, schedule. I think our the uh, net ranking of the team from last year's schedule was um, 158. The net ranking for the teams on this year's schedule going into this year is 156. So when you look at it as far as net rankings, it may not jump out and be as, sex, as sexy to the uninitiated, but it's certainly, in our eyes, a really good schedule. Anytime you go at Virginia, at Oregon, Alabama, uh, St. Mary's, um, Penn State will be picked to win their league. Texas Southern went to the tournament. Um, Norfolk State's got five starters back. They went to the tournament. Um, Old Roberts has got one of the most exciting, best scores in the nation. That's going to be an exciting game for us here. So, um, so yeah, there's there was a lot of um, hair pulling, teeth gnashing. <laughs> um, th- this was by far the the most difficult scheduled to put together you know recruiting is recruiting is recruiting but um um for where we are as a program uh, right now and that's going to get fixed next year obviously but this was by far the most difficult year for us in terms of uh having to deal with a lot of defeats we had a lot of defeats putting the schedule together uh teams pulling out um the Oregon date X is, X is out of some really good MTEs. Um, so, but, you know, here's our schedule. Uh, we're looking forward to um, um, our preparation and getting ready to play. Um, you know, um, when you think about what this team lost, this team lost a lot. You know, uh, that front line, both guys were first team all conference. You know, you're replacing a first-team all-conference guy. It's the all-time leading uh, more, one more games here than anybody in the history of the school with the guy people think is going to be better. Well, he's not going to be better. He's 18 years old. That other guy was almost 23. He, he played, um, you know, I don't know how many games, 140-plus 100, 100 uh, games probably is what I'm thinking, 150 maybe even, I don't know. This guy's never played a game. Um, um, so we've had we've had some um, some challenges um, in a lot of different ways. But um, but like I said, I'm excited about the um, schedule as I am every year. Once I set the schedule, I don't worry about it. You get ready and go play.